So the whole thing initial was to create the whole idea, the, the concept, how it should look like. Because at the moment there are various uh, companies that make something similar to us and uh, the right approach was to find your, your positioning that will make you different from other uh, players in the market. And then there were a number of uh, technical issues that were supposed to be solved uh, uh, to uh, outsource uh, proper components to be used uh, in the solution to find uh, right consumables that are supposed to be used uh, at this solution and to make it work together as uh, one piece. So initially, so for example, one of the issues was to uh, create the proper cup dispensing uh, uh, solution inside a robotic barista and uh, it, it can sound uh, pretty simple but it is quite a challenge because various cups, I mean paper cups, they've got uh, different density, some of them are soft, some of them are hard and uh, a robotic arm works uh, pretty well with uh, one type of cup so, and sometimes it doesn't work well with different types of cups so it was a challenge to outsource the exact uh, type of cups to be used uh, by this solution. Also it was quite challenging to find uh, or to establish proper communication with the manufacturers of some of the equipment because the, from the technical point of view the robotic uh, arm needs to communicate with the coffee equipment and this communication is uh, done in special so to say uh, IT language and uh, to be able to speak this language we need to uh, train or to teach this coffee equipment to be able to communicate this language and uh, this is a kind of request that uh, the manufacturers of uh, coffee equipment uh, are not uh, used to so the basic scenario is that you just give a call to the manufacturer of the coffee machine and say okay guys here we are we're making our robotic barista and we just uh, want you to allow us to get into the brains of your machine and make it communicate with, the other, with our robotic arm. And it was quite a challenge and only those, uh, so to say, pioneering manufacturers who have that trust for technology and who have that feeling of uh, futuristic approach, uh, they were quite uh, flexible and we managed to, uh, to find uh, mutual points uh, with them. So apart from uh, technical issues and challenges that uh, need to, to be solved in each and every solution, I would say that a very important thing is to overcome the attitude of uh, the uh, audience, of the public. Uh, because uh, sometimes um, we face the situation that uh, people, uh, since they are not used to that type of uh, solutions and service, they feel somehow um, apart, they just uh, don't feel like uh, interacting with those solutions. I mean, they, they uh, enjoy it a lot, so they uh, get attracted by it, but still they feel a little bit stressed. We face this situation in uh, industrial automation, we do face this situation uh, in uh, uh, non-industrial sector, and this is one of the challenges that needs to be uh, overcome. First of all, in terms of uh, educational uh, activities, so you, you just need to educate uh, people, audience, public that it's okay, it is safe, it is reliable, it is efficient, there is nothing to be afraid of, this is regular, this is normal, so this is fine. Uh, and uh, you need to integrate and add uh, some various aspects uh, to your solutions that will make your people, your audience and users, and users comfortable. So uh, I need to say that it's always funny to uh, run uh, quality assessment uh, tests with uh, this robotic arm because apart from a uh, technical point of view, I mean making it work properly, uh, you need to make sure that the taste of uh, drinks is nice and you, 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 you see that the uh, coffee menu is rich. It can be with milk, without milk, with syrups, without syrups. And uh, the uh, regular job of our QOK team was to try each uh, drink and to make sure that it tastes really nice 
when you start drinking it, when you finish it, so that it is, uh, it has a proper density, it has proper foam. And uh, I mean, our okay, engineers, they're uh, normally used to testing some uh, technical equipment and it was uh, very challenging for them to be able to test uh, some uh, uh, taste uh, things. We actually even had to uh, invite uh, uh, special uh, uh, personnel for that job, professional baristas. Actually, initially when we were training the robotic arm to uh, prepare right coffee, we invited the European uh, uh, prize uh, winner in uh, coffee making uh, contest, uh, Mr. Dennis. And he uh, did a great job because he taught our robotic arm uh, in what way it is supposed to move properly uh, to make good coffee, which recipe should be used, and so on and so forth. By the way, by the way one of the challenges was uh, time, because uh, it makes a lot uh, for audience not to wait uh, for your coffee for too long. Uh, that's why it was quite a challenge to arrange the whole solution, both in terms of uh, technical aspect, in terms of general layout, in terms of design, to make uh, all the moves uh, and uh, uh, interactions with the, each uh, unit inside the whole solution to make it in such a way that the total time necessary for making uh, one drink as uh, small as little as possible.